Hola amigos, Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today coming to you from Zaragoza. I am in the capital city of the Aragon region and uh, standing here in this street which last night was absolutely packed with people enjoying themselves in one of the many bars and we're going to take a look around the city. It's a bit foggy today so uh, that could be a bit of a disadvantage but uh, we'll check out the city anyway. Yesterday I got some good shots so uh, I'll be able to show you those at the end of the video anyway so uh, let's go and take a look. Now it's a cold morning you can probably see behind me what the temperature is it's about six degrees at the moment and uh, today it's going to get up to about 14 degrees so it's not too bad but this is one of the cities in Spain that can be quite cold hot in summer cold in winter primarily because of the wind the wind that comes through this place apparently is incredibly cold and as i said before you can see around that it is quite foggy that's because of the river aspect of this city we have the ebro river we have a, a globo driver just go past me there uh, the river aspect of the city, the Ebro River, one of Spain's most important rivers, and uh, it divides the city. It is a key factor of the city, and it's also the reason for this fog. So uh, we'll go and check that out as well. Let's go. Now, as I said, it's about nine o'clock in the morning. You've got two types of people at this time of the morning in Spanish cities. You've got people that are getting up to start their daily activity, and you've got people that are coming home from bars and clubs and I've seen a few of those on my walk this morning and I'm no doubt we will see a few more so we'll check that out now we're going to go and check out the main tourist area of the city as I said a bit foggy so I don't know how much we'll be able to see but I'll show you some more of it later but it is the uh, cathedral area of the city very very famous and a great place to go and visit so let's go and check that out now Zaragoza is smack bang in between Spain's two bigger cities Madrid and Barcelona it's about 300 kilometers east of Madrid and about 300 kilometers west of Barcelona smack bang in the middle and that means that it is an important logistics hub and it is a very well connected city you can get to Madrid or Barcelona really easily and a lot of other Spanish cities as well you've got great roads you've got the AVE the fast train system you've got an airport getting here is not a problem and it is a city that I have been impressed with so far I can see that a city like this, 700,000 people, offers a great quality of life and it's a lot smaller and manageable than either Barcelona or Madrid. It's the fifth largest city in Spain, so as I said, 700,000 people. So it's not huge, but it is a city where you can find a good quality of life, in my opinion. Now it's also a city that you can move around fairly easily as well. There's bike schemes, lots of people yesterday riding these electric scooters. You can walk around the city. It's got a tram system, there's buses. You've got every way known to man to get around. It's really easy to do. And you can see behind me that we have the bike scheme here, which is obviously a council project. And uh, you just take the bike out. Obviously you have to pay, take the bike out and away you go. There are lots of bars and restaurants in the city and the quality of food is quite good. Not the cheapest city that I've seen from a food and drink point of view, but good quality. They also have a pincho culture here, which is something that is typical in the north of Spain. Pinchos are small snacks or tapas if you like, and you walk into a bar and they're normally on top of the bar and you can choose what you want. There's a lot of different variety wash them down with a nice glass of red wine good red wines and white wines in this area good beers as well so uh, from a going out point of view socializing great city now apart from the food and drink aspect which is a little bit uh, expensive in my opinion or not expensive but comparable to madrid and other big cities in spain this is a city where the cost of living is generally cheaper than those other cities that I mentioned. Probably on par with a Valencia, maybe it's on par with a Seville. You can get an apartment here for around 600 euros a month, which is not too bad. But remember that salaries might not be as high as the big cities as well, because everything is in line with more or less the cost of living. So salaries a bit lower, cost of living a little bit lower from that point of view. But uh, to get a job, what could you do here? Well, it is a dynamic city, but remember that all Spanish cities suffer from the same problems. So keep that in mind. 
to teach English. I've seen lots of English academies around the place. Again, logistics hub, and there seems to be quite a lot of service related activities as well. So uh, no doubt you could get a job in something like that. I think this is the most exclusive part of the city. We can see over here that we have the Grand Hotel and a lot of boutique shops in this area and really nice apartments. Again, in this city, apartment living. Haven't seen too many houses. There would be on the outskirts, but in the center of these cities, always flat living. Now you can see behind me that we have a pretty impressive church. One thing you're not gonna be short of in Spain is churches and statues. Plenty of churches, plenty of statues around the place, lots of things to visit, lots of monuments. And uh, Zaragoza is one of those cities where you will see a lot of monuments. We're gonna go and see the biggest monument in the city, the Pilar Cathedral, which is just down on the river, on the Ebro River, as I said. Now, Zaragoza is the capital of Aragon. Aragon is one of Spain's 17 autonomous communities. It is an autonomous community with mountains, you have the Pyrenees in this region, and uh, it is uh, one of the better autonomous communities in Spain for the things that you can do here. Lots of people come to this area to go skiing. Lots of people come to this area to visit some of the villages because there's lots of interesting villages in the autonomous community of Aragon. Okay, so this is one of the main shopping streets in Zaragoza. Last night, this was absolutely packed with people walking up and down here and shopping in one of the many shops that we have here on my right and left, surrounded by shops, boutiques, lots of different things. And uh, in the middle here, we also have the tram line, which I said before, it's not a very extensive tram line, but there is a tram line in Zaragoza and it did work fairly well yesterday. And as I said, this area yesterday was absolutely packed with people. Today, no, because it's nine o'clock in the morning here in Zaragoza and most Spanish cities don't wake up until about 10, 11, even 12 o'clock. So uh, we're not gonna see too many people now, but later we'll see a few. And there we have El Corte Inglés. Remember that uh, Spanish city is not complete without it. And there we have Zaragoza's version. And there's a familiar face from the past, old Charles Bronson making an appearance in uh, Zaragoza. Now another pro about this city is that there's not a lot of foreign tourists in Zaragoza. There's lots of local tourists, lots of national tourism going on here, but not a lot of foreign tourists, or at least I haven't seen a lot if you compare it to Barcelona or Madrid, for example. And another thing that I'll point out is that it's also a very nationalistic city. You can see over here that we have the flag and you'll see the Spanish flag everywhere you go in this city. I'll just turn around here and you can see another one up there because this is the front line, let's say, between one of the more important independence movements here in Spain, which is the Catalan independence movement. And Zaragoza is on the border with Catalonia and they want to show themselves as a true proud Spanish region, let's say. And it's also the place where you'll find the Spanish military academy here in this city. So that's one of the reasons why there's lots of flags and people feel proud to be Spanish in this city. It's amazing the difference from one time to another when you walk these streets. Last night, these streets were packed and you wouldn't believe it now, but uh, this is a busy city in the afternoons. And especially uh, at this time of the year, it's Christmas time nearly. And there's lots of Christmas lights and celebrations around the place. And that's what people were out doing yesterday. They were out enjoying the Christmas festivities of the city. Being chased by a street sweeper here, so I better get out as quickly as I can. Now, Zaragoza is also a city that loves its festivals. The main festival here is the Pilar Festival, the Virgin of Pilar, which is uh, in October. And uh, that's the main one. That's when everybody comes back to the city. If they are working in another place, they come back to the city to celebrate that particular festival. But throughout the year, there are many other festivals that take place in this city because people in Spain like to party and uh, Zaragoza is no different. Now I'm working my way down to the main monuments in the city. As I said before, it's the Cathedral of Pilar, the Pilar Cathedral, a magnificent building which is set on the banks of the Ebro River and it's 
absolutely spectacular to see and hopefully it's not going to be too foggy so we'll be able to uh, have a good look at the cathedral and some of the other buildings around in the area. So this is it, the Cathedral of Pilar, the most emblematic building in Zaragoza in my opinion. There are others but this one probably is the most emblematic and the most photographed in this city. So as I said it's a bit foggy so you can't really capture the uh, magnitude of it at the moment but uh, a magnificent building. I got some great shots yesterday so I'll put those at the end of the video. So uh, definitely worth coming to the city just to check out this building. Now I said before that there weren't too many foreign tourists in this city but you can see behind me here that there's a group of Chinese enjoying churros con chocolate. So uh, there are a few foreign tourists around. Now I'll work my way down here now to the river, it's just down the end of this street here and uh, we'll check it out. But I'll also say that the people in this city are quite friendly. I haven't had a problem, people are willing to tell you where things are, the best places to eat, the best places to drink and the things to see. If you don't want to uh, rely on the tourist office, you can ask the locals and they'll be more than willing to share their opinions and views of the city with you so a big thumbs up for the people of Fadagotha. All right so there we go the Ebro River at its foggiest best. Sorry to show it to you like this but uh, as I said I've got some uh, pictures from yesterday which were quite good so uh, there we go one of Spain's most important rivers the Ebro. Okay so I'll wrap this video up here with the Cathedral of Pilar in the background. If you're looking for a Decent sized Spanish city that's not too big and not too small. Zaragoza could be the city for you. 700,000 people, fantastically connected in between Spain's two bigger cities, Madrid and Barcelona. Well connected by road, rail and air. What more can you ask for from a city in Spain? Close to the mountains as well. It's a little bit noisy as you can probably guess, but that's every Spanish city, let's be honest. And uh, as I said, close to the mountains, so you can be skiing in the Pyrenees within an hour or two. So fantastic from that point of view. There's a border with France as well, although it's not as accessible as it is through the Basque country or through Catalonia. People are friendly. What more can you ask for in a city in Spain? Good food, good drink, which is a characteristic of most cities. So thumbs up for that. So there we go. The only downside I would say would be the weather. As we can see, it's a foggy cold day today and that's what you're gonna have in this part of the world. You're gonna have cold winters, you're gonna have hot summers, you're probably not gonna get much of a spring, you're probably not gonna get much of an autumn, but hey, that's what it is. So questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And now I'll show you some of the other areas of the city. Hasta luego.